So, on to round six. Uh, do your five minute thing, play around in round six, ask me questions. And did you have a question before we go? All right. Let's do round six. Python, bin hunt, pi, six. So I think I'm going to go through a couple of these up here just to, to give some hints, make sure everybody's on the same page. You can follow along or just keep going independent if you want. All right, so virtual address of export address table. Well, I know that the export address table is uh, within the export information. So I got, well, let's try with PEView, which gives us the simplest look at it. So what are we on? Round six. On six pins, oh, 64 bit. All right, fine. See if that explorer it is. Round six. Well, there just happens to be a nice little export directory off here to the side. And then we said there's three arrays there's export address table, there's export names table and there's that ordinals table. Set address of functions is the export address table. Set address of names is the export names table. And address of name ordinals is that name ordinals table for lack of a better name. All right, so again, back to this slide. So the question asks us, what is the VA of the export address table? So first of all, we need to find the RBA to it. The RBA to it is in this address of functions thing. So that's what I just found right here. All right, address of functions. That's the RVA. So now I just need to convert it into a VA by adding the base in. So 26D8 plus whatever the base is. And so I'm just going to write that. Paste that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 26D8. Right. Which of the following points at the export address table? That's just pretty much that what this slide was saying. Is it address of functions, address of names, or address of name ordinals? Well, again, from this slide, which one points at the export address table? <coughs> address of functions. Right? Follow the little arrow, address of functions. So, address of functions. Ah, I typed it wrong. Still, I would have been right. Typo. All right, what is the value of the export directory <coughs> number of functions? Well, again, there's only one export directory. So, export directory. What is the literal value of number of functions? Well, number of functions is right there, two. Right, what is the literal value of address of functions? So we file. Go to the export directory, address of functions, 548. What is the ordinal of none? This is totally a bug that I forgot from last time. What is the ordinal of none? It should be giving you like a string name. What is the ordinal of a particular string? But let's see what we can find. Uh, question four. All right, we've got an export address table. And so now here's one thing. So we've got, we said we had three separate little tables, right? We have these three tables. What? Export address, names, ordinals, and ENT. CFF Explorer is just going to merge those all into this sort of columns. And like previously, a sort of implicit thing is that Gray columns are calculated values. They're not just the data structure values. There's something that CFF Explorer is trying to help you and go pull out the value for you. And other values are real values. So function RVA, we can probably expect that that's going to be export address table. Because we said export address table is just a bunch of RVAs to functions. Name RVA, export names table. That's just a bunch of RVAs to names. And name here. I believe actually is going to be the string table. So it's, it's looking up. That's interesting. It's not doing gray like it should. 
All right, but anyways, it's asking you what is the ordinal of none? Well, none is probably one of these error entries right here that doesn't have an actual name, like Python is saying it has no name. So it should be asking you, like, what's the ordinal of devastate? And then you just go over here and you'd say two. You'd say, what's the ordinal of inculcate? And you'd say four. Well, I'm going to take a shot and I'm going to say that maybe it took none from right here and I'll say six. So maybe it's six, maybe it's seven. Either way, it's a bug. Incorrect. The answer was five. Okay. So it would be maybe that minus one. So it looks like this is actually the field that it's looking for in that question. Was it because it was a base set? So, well, yeah, you're correct. It basically should be yeah. basically that minus the base. Good call. All right. Does the RVA of the export names table? Well, that's just going to be this address of names thing if I open up the next binary. But go ahead on your own for a little bit, play around with it, and. As you can see, basically everything you could ever want to know is going to be in this exports directory thing over here on the side. You may get asked some questions that require you to go to the data directory and go to the zero entry, but otherwise it's pretty much all in the export directory itself. There may be a bug if you get a question where it's saying, you know, is the export file uh, time date stamp the same as the file header one? So to answer that, you'd go like, okay, let me look at this time date stamp here, and then we go back to the file header and look at the time date stamp there just had a case where they were the same, but the program said they weren't. So there may be a bug on that if you get that.